Tell me what does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Today is Monday, but we have to go meet his. We have to go meet his teachers today, so that's where we're heading off to to go meet his teachers. I am super excited. Are you excited, buddy? Yeah. You excited? He has already opened up his school supplies, so we're gonna have to get another pack of those. But um, Mom, here, come, come tell him, hey. Hey. You gotta come look at the camera. Hey. What else you gonna tell them? That's it? Are you excited for school? Are you excited to meet your teacher? Are you excited to meet some new friends? Say today. Today is my it's my first week. First week of elementary school. Say so I'm gonna have a good year. Oh, we need this for our memories. So when you look back when you're older, you're going to be like, ah, oh, my mom is so awesome. His dad came too and his uh, papa, but they had to go to the store. So we're actually going to get ready to leave and head out. I need to go by actually Michael's or something and get one of those first day of pre-K signs or something. Yeah. So. What are you doing? Are you ready for school? Yeah. Okay, well, let's pick out an outfit. What outfit you want to wear? Come on, buddy. Mm. That one? Okay, let's try it on. Let's see if you could fit it. Put your shirt on. What you want to be when you grow up? Mm, soda. A lot of soda. You want to be a soda? I want to drink soda. This, 
So you, when you, <laughs> when you get out the <laughs> camera like that, buddy. So when you grow up, you're looking forward to drinking a lot of soda? Yeah. Okay, but as far as the occupation, what do you want to do? Do you want to be like a, like a, a like a lawyer, <laughs> like a doctor, an astronaut, a pigeon? Do you want to be a NBA player? You want to play professional football? Or a donkey. <laughs> you want to be a donkey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're sleeping on the other side. Um. Tomorrow's my first day of pre-K. My first day, first day. of um, elementary. Elementary preschool. Yep, preschool. Um. What? Do you know what you're thankful for? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means to be thankful? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Your, well, say your prayers. Mama's high. Dear Most High. Our Father. Our Father. In heaven. Which are in heaven. I ain't going to heaven. You going to heaven? No, heaven. Heaven? Yeah. That is. Do you know the rest? Hallowed be thy name. I be your name, the king and come, we will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Wait, you gotta use your phone. I am using my phone. Can you promise? I can promise. Ah, buddy, yes, sit up. Mm -hmm. That's for your future self when you get older, so you, you'll know what our pinky promise is. Pinky promise. Kiss it. That's right. Who's Say that hey, one? future Aiden. Hey, from Aiden. Who is that on phone? That's my work phone. It's got videos on it. No, it don't have no videos on it. This one has videos on it.
I had told him, I don't know how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier. No one could understand, I had way too much aggression. That built over the years from my abandoned adolescence. See, I done been lied to, backstabbed, and heartbroken. I wanted to cry, but I was too afraid to open. Bringing one day I find a piece of mind by the ocean. I spent all my time committing crimes to get closer. While at my nana house, I play the couch, staring at a ceiling. Trying not to get in my feelings. Thinking of a way I can bring these millions. Maybe that'll take this pain away and clear up all these rainy days. Heart yeah. been broke so many times. I don't know what to believe. Mama say it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Think it's best I put my heart on my it's your girl i do renee welcome back to my channel so today is monday and i kind of feel a little overwhelmed um i did get my pre-approval i got my pre-approval for my home and i was super excited however it was a lot going on my best friend had just passed away so i was dealing with that and so i was excited but i was in a very sad place during the time and now i have when i came back home from louisiana i'm back in texas now when i came back home i had to take some time for myself to do a mental reset to get my mind clear to get back on my savings goal to get back focused on just all of my goals um and that required me to like hey disconnect from social media as well as disconnect from people because people energies are very draining, very draining, and very taxing. So I did me a whole reset. With that being said, I started back focusing on finding a home. And I went through different freaking builders. Actually, no, I found a builder that I really liked. And then it was just things that was coming up. And because of the area that I want to move into, I feel extremely pressure to try to hurry up and start the building process um but then i have to think about it like whatever the most house will is going to be it's going to be the most house will if it's not meant for me to get this home i'm not going to get um i'm not going to have everything that i need in order or i'm not going to get the spot that i desire and if that is the case that means this is not where the most high wants me to move this may be where i want to move to but this is not where the most high wants me to move so at the end of the day i always have to revert myself back to okay if anything doesn't work out for you audrey 
this is not where the most high is going to really bless you at so just take that as a sign um so that part of me is like calming down it's like okay i understand that um then i was like okay let me start looking at diff different builders in different locations that i will be okay with but then it's just like i don't want to have to settle like i'm tired of always having to settle in life and going for the second best like why am i not good enough to get the best why am i not good enough to get exactly what i want why do i always have to settle for things in life like do i not think that my creator my father my mother my my provider my healer would not provide me and give me everything that i want with without me having to settle so i was like i'm not gonna look at any more builders i'm just gonna work hard towards the builder that i want and getting inside the location that i want and then we'll just go from there if that doesn't work out this is not where the most high desires me to be even though this is what my desire is i still want my desire to align with the most high so i scratched looking at all the other builders in different locations for right now we're going to just focus on just this one builder that in particular that i really want and see how that goes now with this one builder i went back yesterday and i got so much stuff done she even drew out my proposal and that is when things became real to me like i am actually about to build a house like that is wild and i am praying everything works out before my birthday like that would be a very beautiful birthday gift to myself for myself like it would just be amazing um and i don't really want to tell too many people about it because i don't want no one to like be like oh that's too much or you don't need that right now this is just a, a starter home this is your first home I don't I don't want any of that negativity like some stuff I really just prefer to just keep sacred to myself until I actually make a decision because I don't want anyone else's thoughts to influence my decisions and for once like I work so freaking hard for this like I have really worked my butt off to get my credit to save the money to just get the job like I have worked so freaking hard for this and I don't want anyone to come in and spoil my moment because i feel like my moment was spoiled when i was telling people when i was pregnant i feel like that moment was just spoiled for me and so this time i just want like this is my first home i don't want to want to spoil it i don't want to want to spoil my excitement and everything that i'm doing so i'm just gonna keep it to myself to be honest now with that being said i have three and they flying around here like they finna do a drive-by baby let me not say stuff like that. Uh, I have... Okay, so I originally wanted this one floor plan. I had wrote it down. This was what I wanted. When I went to go up there again yesterday to go look at it, she was telling me how it would make more sense to go with one of the other floor plans because this one would end up being the most expensive with the least square footage. But I really, really, really love this floor plan. I really love it. Um, and so we did the um, pricing of all the structural. This is not including when I go to the actual design center. But just for the structural um, layout and upgrades, it is the most expensive. And I'm watching the videos. Like There's other ones that I could settle for it. And I don't really want to say settling. Mm, it would be settling because I sit there and I say, if I if all of them was free, which one would I have to go for? I would go for this one. I love that like the outside layout of it, and I love the inside layout of it. Um, the other one I really do love. I do not like the outside layout of it though. That's the only thing. Like it just keep making me go. Mm, I could settle for that but I don't really care for it. It's not bad. It's just not really what I want. 
but the overall inside especially when it comes to the holidays it, it will be extremely beautiful for the holidays but it's like you don't just live in a um yeah my stomach is a growling you just don't live in a holiday world so i don't know then they have two other ones one that is way cheaper and then um one that is still cheaper but not as cheap as it would be the one that i'm going to go look at it is the smallest of the floor plans um and i wasn't even considering it until i was doing a youtube search and that one popped up so i'm going to actually go look at it again it does not have everything that i want but i could add it now with two of them i could add a study but it would be a pocket study um and with the pocket study i don't think it will have a window so do i really want my office to not have a window or i won't have a formal dining area so then i'm asking myself do i really need a formal dining area if i go with the other two plans um i can have my office area with my windows and I can have my formal dining area. So, I don't know. I'm actually about to go look at three of the actual furnished models. Three of the actual furnished models. Um, but the one that I actually really want, they do not have a furnished model. So, that's what I'm saying. Mm, I feel like this one might be my the one that i really end up getting because it's the one that i really want and even though it don't have a furnished model for me to go look at like i can see me in it so i'm gonna go look at the furnished model see if that changes my perspective of anything and go from there but overall i'm super excited i'm super excited of this journey it is different very different and then I'm very indecisive. Um, I just don't want to make the wrong decision, y'all. That's the only problem. Like, I feel like I have made the wrong decision so much in life. But this is a big investment. It's just like... It's not saying that I'm thinking of a low budget mindset but i still want to be rational and i don't want to overprice myself and then next thing i know i'm in foreclosure filing for bankruptcy because i can't afford what i have built i don't want that but then i also don't want to think with that type of mindset either it's just like why do i always go back and forth with myself like i'm not good enough i need to stop that i really need to stop that but let us go. I'm going to eat the rest of my little cookie. These little things are good. I really only like the um, oatmeal raisin one. But that's neither here nor there. So let us go.
trying to see you, I just stay to you So sad, so sad, what love will make you do All the things that we accept, be the things that we regret So all of my ladies, ladies, baby, come on, sing with me See, when I get straight to leave, you always tell me that you need Just like that. 